Business is blooming in Metro Detroit, and now even the youth are getting into the action. That's right. So Zuena Gray, a student in Metro Detroit, decided that there should be a way to showcase her entrepreneurial endeavors and shine the spotlight on fellow young business owners. So she joins us now with her teacher, Chandra Haynes. Thank you both for being here. It's good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. So you're wearing my favorite kind of tutu. I have one just like the pink. Yeah, yeah. I think the pink will look great on you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about this idea. What was the genesis of this? Huh? Um, well, I I have my own business, so I was thinking that we there's a lot of people, young people that have businesses too. So we should showcase them and give them an opportunity to make money, basically, because. Um, my mom doesn't pay me that much for allowance, so <laughs> this is what I had to go to. And I think other young people want money too. You know, she's okay. so brave because mom is back in the she green is. room. So mom is, mom is in the building. Yeah, we know because she drove you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your business before we get to everybody else. Um, my business, I would make uh, handmade tutus and jewelry and okay. earrings and basically uh, like running tutus for people who do marathons and 5Ks and oh, all cool. that. Those are super I'll let cute. them run. I won't run. Okay. I'll let them do the running. And Chandra, you're her teacher for a weekend school program. Yes, Tell yes. us about so that. So thanks to the support of Jimmy Settles and UAW Ford, um, we, they have a class called Schoolhouse, Saturday Schoolhouse in the D. Mm -hmm. And I teach entrepreneurship a class. I own a battery store in Harbortown. So okay. they asked me to teach a class and Zawina was one of my students and she was excellent. Oh, um, just a phenomenal young lady. We worked on different things with, like her pricing. Mm -hmm. And one of the things she talked about was she wanted to have a vendor fair for young people. And here we and are. And here we are. So And here's some of the vendors that are going to be involved, yeah. right? So we're we'll coming down back, and meet so them. Away. Yeah, we want yep. to see that too, too, too. Hi, how are you? Good. Tell everybody your name. My name is Treasure, and I do, I create bags. All right, so tell us about them. Um, These are gift bags, right? Yes. They wow. are very useful for parties. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know, my mom, it was my mom's business, and I started helping her, and one day I just... Yeah. She took over everything? Yeah. Okay, little tycoon right here in the making. Yeah, Those very are cool. And, and the inspiration <laughs> for all the feathers and all the cool stuff is what? Where do you get these ideas? They just um, come to your head? Yeah, they just So come. you're just a genius. You were born that way? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, good. There you go. All right. <laughs> Let us know when you're a millionaire because we want to be your new best That's friend. That's right. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to have you here. What is your name? Mimi. Mimi, what is your stuff all about? Um... Well, this is my jewelry I make. Yes. It's handmade. Handmade. Wow. Out of what? What is this? Is this that plastic? That is bamboo. Or? This okay. is wow. acrylic. Okay. Very cool. Very nice. And where do you get your ideas? Well, when, well, I helped my mom with her jewelry. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And one day I came up with um, an idea to have a business of my own. There you go. The young tycoons indeed. They learn yeah. from their parents. Tell us the name of your business, Mimi. Mimi Bears. Mimi How Bears. I got the idea was when I was little, my mom called me Mimi Bear. Uh -huh. She so, still does. That was just uh, when you were little. When That's you were how, little. So the, how and long have you been in business? Two or three years. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good to see you. Thanks for bringing Mimi Bears with you. That's right. uh, Javon uh, Cleveland uh, Strayford is here. Javion. Uh, Javion, rather. Tell us about you. You got CEO Javion right there on your shirt. So tell us about your ideas and your business. Well, my business is like. I help volunteer because kids just sit on the couch and play video games all day. So it's better if like they help the community and waste their time. It's wow. not wasting their time. Just giving back. So here at one of your service projects, what are you doing in this picture here? We're uh, planting trees. Okay. And who do you work with? Where do you get the ideas? You just find out who needs help and you show up like the cavalry? I mean, how does this work? Uh, well, we just, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain how does it work. Yeah. But, like, I know I work with my family and mm. my school. We used to have a community kids club in the sixth grade. And so I used to be there and help volunteer in there, too. Mm -hmm. And so now... It's a full-fledged business. Tell us the yeah, name of your I, business. It feels real good to, to yeah. help out. And the name of my business is uh, These Kids Care. Detroit Kids right, Care. Great. I love Detroit it. Detroit Kids Stuff. Care.
Okay. All right, so Thank we're glad you, to have Jan. all of you here. So, Chandra, do you see you're looking at the future, these kids you're teaching in class, right? You must yes. have so many great inspirational stories. You know, Zoena has just been my inspiration. And people say, well, have you, what have you done for her? I've done nothing but support her. She mm -hmm. has done everything. When she said she wanted to do it, I said, well, let me see if I can secure a venue. And we were able to do that, and she's done everything else. So I'm extremely oh, proud of her. Impressive. And, you know, we need to see more positive things with our young people. Sure. Absolutely. So tell us about the event again. It's this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday. It's from 10 to 1. It's at Northwestern High School, which is Detroit Collegiate Prep at Northwestern High School. Okay. Um, we still have vendor space available, so if somebody wants to uh, get a space. Um, and we'll have food vendors. We'll have students that make jewelry. We'll have a young lady that makes tea sets. So any someone that makes music, so a number of different vendors. Mm -hmm. And these are all young people, so from ages 5 up to 18. And they can inspire other kids to come. Yes, and adults. Yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. So well, come it's good out to support have you us. Here. Kids, Absolutely. one more time, good job. Nice to have you here. Thank and you. I've, I've waited my whole life to meet oh. you. So just stay here with me. <laughs> just stay here right with me.